It had to be yeah, some chemicals yeah. involved right. or something. It's been raining for three days. Yeah. 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 I thought maybe shake and bake or something. Right. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's right. what I was thinking. Yeah. 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 These people right. fight out here all the time, and you, you help them, and they want to get mad at you for it afterwards. The people that stay but, in the camp, you mean? Yeah, some of those damn ass f***ing drunks back there. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, Billy's cat's buried there. Really? Yep. Yeah. Cool. R.I.P. Billy's cat. His name's Dog. Like, y'all want to say anything to anybody out there, or, or? I don't know. Yeah. Say the fuck off, people. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess man, so. all of her, all of her shit comes up stolen. Man, my clothes. Yeah. Man, I wear four X and my shit comes up stolen. Oh, I, 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 like, no no way. Crazy. Punks running around with the pellet rifles shooting people. Oh, yeah. Shit, man. I mean, that's ridiculous, man. Kids. So this morning, I received several messages about a homeless encampment that had caught fire last night. Soon after, I received a message from a local firefighter who was there and put out the fire. He asked to remain unknown, so he will remain unknown. Now, my buddy Mitch used to live in the encampment, and he offered to take us in to meet the residents. There seems to be some confusion about exactly what happened, so I'm going to let you draw your own conclusions. Let's get started. Uh, my name is Taylor. My name is Taylor. And uh, I, I wasn't here, but I got a phone call. Apparently, they heard, like, it sounded like gunshots going off. And next thing you know, they see a bunch of this flame shutting up in there. Like, okay. bad. yeah, it was pretty bad. So y'all know the dude? Y'all know the dude that was yeah, over I there? Yeah, I know the dude. Yeah, it's a guy and a girl that lives over there. Okay. Yeah. And then you saying it sounded like gunshots? Well, it sounded like, first, I told, I told my friend, I told him it sounded like a cat gun at first. I looked at him, I was like, look, it sounded like a cat gun. And I was like, no, wait a minute, that's a twenty two or a gun or some sort of, and then next thing you know, it was it, within seconds. Yeah. Uh, and y'all was right here. I was right here. Literally, it's so it's right like here. what, 200 feet to I the, right, right. I know a buddy, a couple of buddies on the other side over there, they said they heard it like real bad. Like, okay. They, yeah, yeah, a bunch of people heard it. Yeah, a bunch of, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, I went right here, but it had it to be so some fast. chemicals. It was wet. I knew it was so wet. It was so wet. It, could it had to be yeah, some yeah, chemicals yeah. Right. involved or something. It's been raining for three days. Yeah. 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 So something, I thought, maybe shake and bake or something. Right. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's right. what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. For real. But as far as, did you, so did y'all talk to the police? Did they run y'all out of here? I or so. Okay. But so they we, gave us till 12 o'clock today to be out of here. Okay. Till 12, yeah. How's that going to work? I don't know. I, I don't have nobody to hold camera. figure that out. Yeah, right? I, I have nowhere to go. Like, yeah, man, that's got to be a bitch. How yeah. long y'all been out it's here? It's easier to move the tents out the way. Probably almost move the tents, a year. But yeah, his camper. I don't know what he's going to do with that. So you've been, the camper's been here for about a year? Yeah, about a year. Yeah, okay. About a year. Yeah. And they ain't give y'all no shit until this happened, huh? No. Well, so no worries because nothing's really going on back here and then there's a fire and now it's a big problem. Now everybody yeah, says, oh, oh because um, people are on narcotics or alcohol and all this stuff. And it ain't never and been there about no it's drugs out drug. here. Okay. You know. That shit last night. Yeah, it was not, I got a picture That's of it. It ain't damn, never man, been a problem like, with drugs. Well, Dude, right, so you've been in this you, you've been in this community for a while too, huh? Yeah. Right, so no fentanyl, no meth, nothing no, like that really going no, on. No. Okay, just drinking and just pretty drinking. much we trying to survive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Damn, but, man. I don't know. It had to be some kind of chemicals involved. It definitely had to. Yeah. As wet as it is out here. Yeah, and because I mean, you did, the the sounds that it made before it went up was just weird. You heard pop, 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 and then. So, to me, I'm thinking somebody was shaking my bike. I don't know. Right, yeah, 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 of course. Different. You know. I'm just or, guessing. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm somebody got an argument and they wanted to blow their shit up. So that's kind of another thing I've been hearing from the other side, too, is that there was an argument between a lady and a man and she had called the police twice on him. Oh, yeah. Supposedly he had threatened to kill her. Do we know this person? Do we know this couple? Right, so there's another encampment over this way, right? Yeah. And then so once somebody went over there and then you got yeah, the kid or Kim was well, name Michael, he came down and slashed the slashed my camper or he came down with hatchet, 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 hatchet,
cops and laid his ass down in the fucking parking lot. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So then where is he now? We haven't seen him? He's in jail. Yeah, hi. Yeah, okay, he's in Justin's jail? He's in jail. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, he is. He's locked the and where's the chick? Oh, she out here running around somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, she running around here somewhere. Who knows? You can't miss that one. Nah. Uh-uh. Nah, nah, nah. She's as tall as we are. Damn, man, so. <laughs> <laughs> dope, dope, dope. Yeah. Now you gotta try to get the f***ing camp right here. What are you gonna do yeah. if you can't get the camp right here? I mean, like, I what, what if you stay here and the police just keep coming back? What happens then? Oh, well, I, I mean, we go to jail. <laughs> that's what they said. You gotta take us to jail. What we did? We can't go nowhere. They else. came out here with a bobcat a while back. Go. Don't and started clearing <coughs> some of the land over there and saying everybody had to leave. And then that was like months ago. Yeah. They've been doing that shit for years. Anyway. Yeah. Right. They've been, they, they've definitely mowed this place down a couple times, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been back here for a long time. Okay. How long you been staying here? Well, I, I left here about three years ago. I've just come back, but I've been down here for probably about five years before that. Yeah. I was, you already know that. Yeah. Long yeah. time. Damn, man. Like I was telling you, Billy Miller lived here for 12 years. Yeah. Back okay. Back at when Billy had Big Camp. That was the first building built A frame. Big Camp. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all want to say anything to anybody out there or, or? I don't know. Yeah. Say the f off people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess. Man, so. Oliver, Oliver it comes up stolen. Man, my clothes. Yeah. Man, yeah, I wear four X in my. Punks running around with the pellet rifle shooting people. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's ridiculous, man. Kids. So, 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 explain that to me. What are they doing? Sneaking around out here at night, shooting them and shooting homeless people in the back with pellet rifles. Beat him with the bat. Yeah. Look at this. Him and his little lady. Bunch of gangs beat him up. No fucking way. I'm telling you, way. Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, all these people started showing up here. It would never used to be like this. Never now all of a sudden all these people is just and it's disruptors not people coming here to find a place to stay yeah, exactly. yeah. 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 why are you gonna steal from somebody that ain't got nothing on him we all want each other's team here like people just trying to come out yeah. here and party type shit so the know? comments in the in the comment things too i got a lot of comments from people because i've been getting messages all morning and they talk about y'all like a community y'all kind of take we care of each other yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. right yeah, yeah i think that needs to be noted here. man yeah. and then y'all got people yeah, coming yeah, in when they hit you with bats and shoot BB guns yeah. at you like you're oh, a yeah, straight yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man, that's crazy. Yeah. I used to be back here a couple years ago. Yeah, he did. But I got on my he feet and got the fuck out of here. Yeah, he did. But I still come back, don't I? Always, yeah, come, always come back here and holler at me. Always do. It ain't no better than I. It's always been good people out here. It's always been good people until you got dum dums coming around here. Yeah. So, what do you hate so much about it? I hate the goddamn violent bullshit everywhere you go. Okay, like what? Why are you asking me? Because I have a YouTube channel and we're interested in how you guys are living out here and um, what you're I'm taking care of. I've been here for a couple of days. I'm talking about this city in general. People are going to attack you on the streets, have an identity set, things getting ignored. My house of the two South Kent getting cut, welts and bruises all over my goddamn body. And then coming out here in a, in a program and trying to get on uh, my feet, see my kids, and being kicked out and trespassed everywhere when my available resources aren't being used to uh, help people and people keep trying to fight you and they don't do anything to make it better. All my family photos were stolen, my credit card, my uh, cars were towed when I was being assaulted by the neighbors and I just kept trying to move away from the violence everywhere I went and it followed me. I've only been out here for a couple of days. I'm going to see what happens. But that dude, that uh, Joseph dude that went by, he's a fucking stupid ass goddamn idiot. These people fight out here all the fucking time. And you, you help them and they want to get mad at you for it afterwards. The people that stay that, in the camp, you mean? Yeah, some of those damn ass fucking drunks back there. Hmm. All right, well, thank you. Carl, you in there? Carl's camp. He's, he's been here for a minute. But he does alright for himself. Where did all the people go that were back here in the camps? Did they leave? Um, I mean we found a few people. Where'd they go? Right there. Yeah. 
The people that right there is the guys that live in this one. They're on no, the other side No, I mean the people here. back there. Did they already mm, leave? I don't know. We didn't find anybody back there. There's a lady and a guy back there in the corner that we talked to. How are you guys here? Uh, showing my friends around, but they've never been back there. Oh, mm -hmm. so, are you the one of those? Are you the one back here? Oh, okay. Is Carl still back here? Uh, yeah. Is he up on the main? Yeah. 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 All right. I can show you if you want me to. Oh, that's all right. I know where it's at. Okay. Thank you. Didn't yeah, thank you very much. Sorry for bothering you guys. You said you just scared me. That's Sorry. okay. Enjoy the day. I have a really big beard. <laughs> I have a really big beard? Yes, I do. Thank you. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> like, this is the worst town I've ever been in. Okay. It really is. I'm not staying in it. I see they got Kevin locked up. I don't give a shit about Kevin. He threatened He's threatened to shoot up a school or that's something. That's what I heard. Dumbass. He's an idiot. So tell me about like prices and shit like that. What are y'all doing for food? What are y'all doing for money? If you starve on Winchester, you a fool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mission, you you don't churches and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. 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 Mount Rushmore. Like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, something wrong with you. You got to eat around here. It's not oh, you got something wrong with you. Definitely. And now your church, you got to have church, you you two feet in the heartbeat. Okay. Go get it. Go get it. Yeah. That's all you got to do. Mm, mm, mm. Huh? Crazy that people are back here fucking with them like that. That's yeah, nuts. It's a teenage fucking punk kids. Punk man. kids, bro. Punk Shoot the homeless kids. people in the back with pellet rifles. Come on, man. You can put your fucking eye out. They don't know what they're doing. It's crazy. And I don't know nothing about this cat. <coughs> no. Billy Miller lived there for like 13 years. Oh, yeah. Where's Billy now? He lives in White Post. He got him a nice little mobile home. Okay. Overcome. Like so people do come out of this. You're, yeah, you're, I came out of You're a walking example, yeah, right? Absolutely. It's hard to survive when you got people trying to do harm to you, man. That makes it worse, doesn't it? It's yeah, hard enough it's out here. Ignorance. My buddy J.R. Pierce, he's in a nursing home now in Warrington. This was his little tent. Okay. Got him out of here, thank God. He didn't need to be back here. He was 70 years old. Jesus. 70 years old living yeah, out here. Yeah, that, that was what's left of it. He's in a nursing home now in Warrington. Doing much better, sober. He wasn't a drug addict. I mean, he smoked a little weed. Right, weed's not a drug. This was uh, Billy Miller's original house. The very first one built back here. And it's still standing. And his brother Bobby lived in here. Until recently, they got him in the hospital now. And he's getting ready to go to a nursing home. He ain't got to come back out here. They're getting his disability for him because he can barely walk now. I guess it was the original squad. Yeah, so I think somebody was in this one this morning. And it used to be really clean. How you doing, brother? Yeah, when we was out here before, he had a, he had a Christmas tree set up. It was last Christmas. Were you staying in Bobby's camp? No, my mom usually stays here. I mean, I was Is that the lady with one leg? No. No. Uh, older woman. Wear glasses? Yeah. Yeah, I seen her a couple of days ago. I haven't seen her recently. Uh, I ain't been in here. I was check on her. Heard her the fire here last night. Let me make sure she was okay. I'm so sure she is. No, nah, man, you're good, buddy. Did you see her? Let her know that I, I stopped by to see her. Okay, so it was that uh, Timmy Nail used to sell, and he would make the sticks yes. up like walking sticks He'd or something, right? He'd find these old vines and carve them down and sell them. Yeah, yeah, see, hustle. yeah I seen you standing there on the corner selling them a couple times last year. Yeah, they run him out. Y'all should roll one them rollers for this one. God damn, Jamie. Um, I'm gonna roll one up before we go. I got one in the truck. Hell, amen. So shout out to Ambrose Yeagers, man, because I am blessed enough to work with someone who supports the content that I want to create and allows me to make it without starving waiting on a YouTube check. So shout out to Ronnie. You kick ass, buddy. Oh shit. You broke it, Brody. It sounds like the camp that burnt down was kind of a weirdo anyway. He thing. was, he was a strange guy. Yeah. Tweaker or yeah, whatever. Right. Right. We'll do that. This used to be the main spot where everybody would meet and hang out and drink, but I guess they don't do it anymore. Huh. So the community would come together for a little party spot inside the yeah, encampment yeah, too, yeah, huh? Yeah. So everybody kind of like stayed connected. All the connected. we talked to up there, they all lived right there or different places? Different places. Right, Carl, they all Carl, that's kind of their spot now. That's Carl Clayton's old spot. Got these young fucking kids coming through here, and I don't know what their gig is. 
Fuck, his leg get killed or something, yeah. I mean, it's gonna get him hurt, so what's gonna happen. Here, she had one leg, and her old man lived with her. They both got checked. He was a veteran, and they both concealed carry. So you didn't just roll up and do anything to them, because they would shoot you. Shooting people in the back with tell it right. Come on, man. Well, you sitting there oblivious to anybody being in the woods looking at you and shoot your fucking eye out. I wish you could have had a picture of it before it burned down. Yeah, no doubt. He had a fucking spread, man, and he built it all by himself. He was hauling lumber in here on a trailer on a bicycle. And I mean, it was a one-bedroom living room house with a fucking wood stove. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, that's a whole lot of ash right there. Yeah, but you know that's 